Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. New Testament writers use the word believed 248 times. It's the verb form of the word faith, which is used 244 times in the New Testament. So this is an extremely important concept, especially considering our faith is an integral part of our salvation. So we'd better get this right or we have a problem. Unfortunately, neither English nor Greek has a separate word to differentiate intellectual faith and saving faith. So when we read, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, how do we know if it's a head knowledge belief that counts or if it must go deeper to a committed trust? And how do we know which one we have? I'm sure you've probably heard about the example of a chair. I can believe all I want on that chair, that it will hold me up. But until I actually sit down with my full weight, I'm not really putting my full faith in it. Another example is an airplane. We can believe it can fly without that huge contraption falling out of the sky. But unless we actually get in the plane and trust it to stay airborne, It's not true faith. I like that example because we're literally trusting our lives to something that for no logical reason that those of us non-pilot and engineer types can understand. Something that weighs 100 tons or so can get up into the sky, stay there, and get us where we need to go safely. It really just boggles the mind. True faith in God is similar. Only there's no way we can ever understand how he works, no matter how many books we read or even how much we've experienced with him. He always holds us up, even without logical explanation. Many who came to Jesus for healing, he commended them for their faith. One man knew that he didn't believe enough. When Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible for him who believes. The man replied with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. He knew his faith was lacking. Maybe it was hovering between intellectual belief and full commitment. He'd seen or at least heard of other miracles. But could Jesus do this? Would he do this for him in his situation? I confess my faith sometimes hovers in that area. I know God's power and what he can do, but will he do it for me? But then sometimes God puts me in a place where I have no choice but to believe. The only other alternative is worry, and we know that doesn't do any good. Anyone can believe intellectually. Most people will tell you, I believe in God. But that doesn't mean that they trust him and commit everything in their life to him. As James 2.19 says, You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. So that intellectual belief doesn't do much good unless it's followed by a full commitment, a surrender of self to the Lord. True faith is putting all your eggs in one basket and handing them to the Lord to carry. How is your faith doing? Do you truly believe? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.